They are among the most devastating of human disorders, paralyzing spinal cord injury and neurodegenerative diseases like Huntington's, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's disease. Their cures involving repair to the nervous system are among the most elusive. Now, a major breakthrough at the Broad Center of Regenerative Medicine and Stem Cell Research at UCLA promises to speed up the next generation of clinical trials, providing new hope for treatment. For the first time, Broad Center researchers have taken skin cells from a patient, used a virus to break them down into embryonic-like stem cells without the use of animal products, what's called a xeno-free environment. From the skin cells, using the virus, we generate animal-free, embryonic-like stem cells. These are the single cells, and it, this is a cluster, it's called as a colony. It was really a very exciting moment in the lab, because we were not very sure whether we will be able to generate uh, any embryonic-like stem cells from the skin right from the skin biopsy under xeno-free environment or the animal-free environment. Once we saw that, we couldn't believe and then we started looking at many colonies coming up from those plates. This breakthrough, creating the embryonic-like stem cells from a patient's own skin cells without the use of animal products, means cutting out laborious, time-consuming testing at every stage for animal contamination, speeding up production of potential stem cell treatments for patients. We take the cells from the skin of human patients under very clean, animal-free conditions. We grow them in a special facility with special air handling special security, special equipment. We then reprogram them with the latest um, types of reprogramming methods uh, that bring them back to a more embryonic-like state. And from there, we can then turn them into in theory, any kind of cell in the body. In this highly advanced laboratory, researchers here were then able to coax these animal-free, embryonic-like stem cells into becoming neurons, critical to the function of the spinal cord and brain. These are the neurons that we generated from the embryonic-like stem cells that we created from a sample of skin cells. It's very difficult to come by neural tissue from patients and so in theory, because we take the cells back to an embryonic state, we can uh, turn them into all the cells of the nervous system. So you could think about treating any kind of neurodegenerative disease or even um, neurological injuries, treat a patient essentially with their own cells. The science of stem cell therapy has never been more promising. Millions are waiting.